Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to be working on pages 137, 138, and 139. And this is in our reader's notebook. This is grade one, volume one. Okay, first of all, before we practice our spelling words, I want to do a quick review of all of our five vowels. They're short sounds, okay? We're doing the short sounds. So remember this from the beginning of the year. It's capital A, lowercase a, 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 apple. So every time you see an A, it says a, at least right now in the first grade. Capital E, lowercase e, 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 elephant. So E says E. Okay, here's another vowel. There's only five of them. Capital I, lowercase I, E, 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 iguana. There's an iguana. I says E. Capital O, lowercase o, ah, 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 ostrich, ostrich. Last one, and all of our spelling words have this one. You see, it, the U, 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 U. Capital U, lowercase u, ah, 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 umbrella. All right, there's your review. Let's look at our spelling words. They're right here. I'm going to make them super big for you. Let's see if I can I get over here. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's big enough. You see it? All right. Us. Remember, we have to make the uh sound, like the umbrella card. Okay. Us, sun, sun, like the sun shines. But, but, I had ten dollars, but I spent it all, spent it all on candy bars. That was but. This is fun, fun. I hope I'm going to have some fun this weekend. Fun. And then this says b us bus. When it's time to go back to school, maybe you'll get to ride the bus again. And finally, we have run, run. When you have to go fast, you don't walk, you run. So now we're going to find the ones in the unword family because they're going to rhyme with un. Okay, this one has un, un. This one has un. And this one has un. So let's see what they are. S, un. Let's write sun. S, un, sun. Okay, let's go to fun. Fun. F, un, fun. This one says run, run. R, un, run. Sun, fun, run. I hope you spell all three of those right, right now and on your spelling test on Friday. Now we're going to get to write our spelling words that end with U-S. So there's two of them, it looks like. So let's go up to our spelling list. Oh. That one has U.S. and this one has U.S. at the end. So the first one says us. Us. Like, can you come with us? I'm like, maybe you're going to go to the scary house, the haunted house, and you ask your mom, Mom, can you come with us? Okay, and the next one that has U.S. after it is bus. B. That's B spells B. Us. Bus. So they both have U.S. Just like it asks us to. 
Finally, they want us to write the last one, and it, end, it ends with UT, and it's the only one we haven't done. And it's a word that says but. But. I had $20, but I gave it to my older brother because he needed some gas money, and he said he would pay me back. But. But. Okay. That's your spelling practice. Let's move on to our, excuse me, to our grammar lesson. This one is on articles. So let me have a look in here. Okay, here are some articles. I need to zoom this out. Let's see, zoom it back out so you can see the whole thing. So articles, these are the articles. A, an, and the. And there's some rules about using these articles, and I have a couple videos that are up in the links around this reader's notebook, and you can watch them to find out what the rules are. But basically, if it's the word a or an, you are you can only use them in front of singular nouns. That means it can't be more than one noun. A and an. And then the word an, you can only use it in front of words that begin with vowels, like, like, a, e, well, o is one, u is one, um, and i is one. So you can only use the article an if the next letter you see is a vowel, A, E, I, O, or U, A, E, I, O, or U, okay? And it has to be a single version of that noun. Okay, let's have a look. And then the word the, it can be used in front of a lot of words, like singular nouns, plural nouns, Okay, so let's have a look over here now. This is called articles. We're going to circle the article in each sentence. And so remember, the articles are a, an, and the. So all the ones that, that say a, the, an, the, we're going to circle. And then we're going to write them down. This article is a. Article is a special word that goes in front of a noun. This article is the, T-E-A-G spells the. This article is a, an, I'm sorry, an, and we say the, it un, un. Like in this sentence, we stand under an umbrella, un. Over here, let me go ahead and read these. The gift was a hat. Nan sat at the desk. We sat under an umbrella, and finally, the dogs ate fast. That article begins with a capital letter because it was at the beginning of the sentence. So down here it says, circle the article that belongs in each sentence. Nan sat on an steps or the steps. Well, it can't be an, because an can, go only, oh, blah, can only go in front of a word that begins with a vowel. And it can only go in front of a word that is in the singular tense. Or Yeah, it's single. not Maybe not the tense, but it's single. Okay, so this one has to be the. Nan sat on the steps, because step, the can go with almost anything. It's like the most used word in America. Nan sat on the steps. The is the article. He put his bag on a chair or an chair. A chair. Because remember again, an, an can go only in front of words that begin with a, e, i, o, or u. Okay, let's go ahead and go to 
to this one. It says writing a topic sentence. It says to look at the picture of Stan the skunk and tell what Stan looks like. Write a topic sentence and some details. So maybe our topic sentence can be um, Stan is a skunk. Okay. So Stan is a sk sk a uh, skunk skunk Stan is a skunk. Okay, so that's a topic sentence. This is just a, going to be about Stan being a skunk. Now we're going to write some details. So he has a he has a want to say a white stripe. Yeah, let's do that. He has a white That's how you spell white. W H I T E. He has a white stripe. Oh, stripe begins with a triple cluster. Er, stir, I, I, p. This is strip, but if I put an e at the end, it'll make the i make its long. It'll, it'll make the i say its name, and its name is i. Stripe, and they already put a period for me, so we could stop that sentence. He has a white stripe. Okay, so we're still talking about stand as a skunk. Okay. One detail is he has a white stripe. And another detail is he has, do you want to say bl black fur? No, because that might get confused with the white stripe. He has four legs. We can just say four legs. Let's do that. He has four, we could have said a lot of details. We could have said he has a long tail or a fluffy tail. He has four legs. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and pause the video right here and finish writing that. And we'll do some more work in our reader's notebook tomorrow. Toodaloo.